Yo, what's going on guys? It's Curve, and I know I haven't uploaded a video in a little bit, but obviously that's because I've been doing a lot of work in school and other things, but here we go. First thing I want to show you guys in this bank video, I have Questcape. Pretty sure you guys already know that, unless you're a new viewer, so there you go. I have Questcape. Got it about two weeks back on a Friday, so yes, I do have Questcape. And I just wanted to make this video so you guys can see basically my bank and whatnot. Um... It took me over six hours to record this. Somebody is saying something. Thank you. Yes, I did. All right, guys. Let's uh, let's hop into the bank and I'll show you guys what's going on. Okay, so I never really noticed how many people like my cape because I have so many people following me right now. And they're like freaking out and they <laughs> Thank you, dude. Alright, back to the bank now. Alright guys, so this is my bank. It took me so long to organize this. Let me uh show you guys what's going on. So I got my runes here, basic runes, basic rune crafting items, law runes. Up there. Elemental Talismans, Nature Talismans, Law Talismans, Cosmic Terra. Those are the ones that I'll basically use. Um, these are my staffs. Take them out whenever I need them. Ivan's staff is just there because I'll never take it out. Um, my units are set up in a way where it's the herb and then the actual um, unidentified one below it. So, for example, these are Harrowlanders. These were the Raynars. These are Toad Flax, etc. So, the Irrits, Aventos, Quorum. Snapdragons, Canantines, Lantadimes, and Dwarf Weeds. So those are the ones that I do have. Right here, these are my serums that I made for uh, Herb Lore. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing this. Just do prayer potions. You'll make money. But I was just really lazy, and I just wanted to do that. It was probably more expensive and stupid on my part, but it's okay. Um, so this is the same thing, just my seeds in order. Um, I have, where are they? 51 Toad Flax Seeds from cave horrors and that's a very rare drop so that's ridiculous so moving on to the next part this is my tools area just a bunch of my tools that I use for skilling when I eventually have to do more skills um, I'll have to get a uh, placeholder for those anything that you see singles of up here I'm gonna be getting um, doubles of so the watches etc etc I'm gonna be getting placeholders for those so let's continue on um, this is my jewelry section um, you guys can see I have my jewelry, the molds, toe cool, gold bars for the jewelry, and then just my cash. I like having it relatively near the top. Normally I have it in this location, but I figured I might as well just organize it with all the herbs and units and everything up there. So, um, yeah, I have all of the uncuts and, and cuts, um, the diamond ring and the ring of life. So basically the unenchanted and enchanted version, because all of these are useful. So I'll keep all of those and have a placeholder for all of them so if I ever need one for a clue I'll have it same thing with the necklaces ruby amulet emerald amulet sapphire amulet and these two so two sets of proselyte two sets of rune mainly because I got these from clue squirrels and I got these from when I was a lower level and that was like the best thing I had um holy books unholy books these are all filled so I can do, you know, the enchantments or spells with uh, all of them. And, uh, yeah, so I have all pages filled in all of those. And the same thing with the sapphire jewelry and fire lighters from Clues. So the next area is just a bunch of gear, I would assume, I could say. So all of my arrows and bolts that I guess I would be using. Um, I have to get a placeholder for a Nezzy and my Barrow's Gloves, which I'll go buy after this video. Um, you can see I have placeholders of all this stuff. A bunch of Slayer gear. And this is where we get on to the quest items. So as as having Questscape, you obviously know I'm going to have a bunch of quest items that I just don't want to get rid of because I'm kind of a hoarder. But, okay, so we have a bunch of necklaces that you kind of need. I mean, I don't need that anymore. I don't need that or that, but I guess it'll help. So full lunars. Um, Dark Dagger, this is from Legends Quest. This is the like weapons area, I guess, things that you hold. Dark Light, Silver Light, Ancient Mace, Excalibur, Keras, the Crystal Saw, um, Demonic Sigil, Wolfbane, Bull Roarer, Gatterhammer, Fixed Device, Rat Pole, 
Rune Spear, Poisoned, which is from, I believe, Taibo One I Trio. The Bone Spear, Silver Sickle Bee, and then this is the Headwear. Gas Mask, Camel Mask, Bear Head, Doctor's Hat, Dwarven Helmet, Bomber Cap, Mind Helmet, Fishbowl Helmet, my Hellcat's in there. So this is like the chest pieces. There weren't many, so Robe of Elendis, Robe of Elendis, basically the top and bottom, same name, literally. Bomber Jacket, Diving Apparatus, Bone Sack, this is the back portion, which means this should actually technically be up there. Um, Bone Sack, that's from Rag and Bone Man Part 2, it's actually pretty cool. Cape of Legends, Eagle Cape, and then this is the miscellaneous items, so we got the Elemental Shields, Sleds, and then this is stuff from Legends Quest. More quest items, miscellaneous stuff that I'll use eventually. I use this KGPI D card because it just looks awesome. And yeah. So other than that, a bunch of strange fruits that I've collected from random events. And Trollweiss that I have had from a quest. I forgot which one it was, but you know, I think it was like Troll Romance. And then from here down, this is just a bunch of level 2 clues and level 3 clues required items. So just like from the bronze to the iron to the steel to the myth to the addy, etc. And then a bunch of the miscellaneous stuff that I'm going to need eventually when I have to do the quests. I mean, not quests, obviously. But when I have to do the clues, which I love doing. So more of the range gear that you need for that. Um, this is more of the random event gear of what I have so far. So the chicken costume, leaderhosen, mime, camo. I don't have full zombie yet, which I've only, oddly enough, I've only gotten the random event twice. And the first time I fucked it up so bad that I didn't even get anything. So... Zombie shirt and zombie boots I just got recently. So I'm going to get a uh, room in my house, the costume room, so I can get all that out of my, uh, you know, bank. So nine frog tokens, two frog masks, 600 flax I bought off some guy yesterday for 15k, which was a great deal because I could just either turn it into bowstring and make bank or just sell it right now and make bank. So, yeah, that's what that is. Um, next row of gear, just mourner's outfit for when I have 90 slayer. Medium pouch, small pouch. I use the large pouch for devious minds, so I'll have to get that back. Um, ectophile, very helpful. So full mystic, I use this for either barrows or something like that. And this is actually my friend's tuna potato, so thank you, dude, for letting me borrow it. Uh, I needed it for a clue, but I'll give that back to him because I use an Aram, ho Aram sword when I actually do barrows. So um, Guthix's cape, Ceridoman staff, and Guthix's staff. Fire battle staff also for a clue. This is just some stuff that Cave Horrors drop, and I also need Admiral Pies for clues, so I'm going to have to go buy more of those. Um, Sapphire Lantern, Cave Horrors, just some basic teleports. Um, Rune Crossbow and Archer's Helm will probably get a bank space up there at the top by the Archer stuff, but like I said, I organized all this yesterday and it was a pain in the ass. So next row of stuff, um, just some anti-fires for when I have to go do a Bronze Dragon task or whatever. Super anti-poison for those emergency clues when I need it. Uh, key ring, crystal seed for when I need to turn my uh, get my crystal bow back. Teleport crystal for when I want to teleport to Latia or wherever in the Elven Woods. So my desert top, my friend Sean bought me. Thank you. I bought this off Sean. Same guy, real chill guy. Um, Dark Cavalier bought off my friend Sebastian. Um, and here's where the cool gear comes. So, oh no peeking, no peeking. <laughs> So goldsmith gauntlets, I'm going to turn those into cooking gauntlets because I already have my smithing level for quest cape and that's all I use that for. Holy wrench, amulet of glory, dragon mace, DDS, D skim, D battle axe, and dragon halberd. One of my long term goals will be to get two of every dragon item but I'm not in any rush. So now here's the good stuff. So rune defender, anchor, black mask, arms hood, and full guthans. So that's pretty much my bank right there, I guess you could say. Um, what is this going on? I can't even take it out. I'll just take out 45. There you go. Alright, so that's that. And I forgot to tell you guys that I also got a fire cape. I got a fire cape yesterday or the day before, I believe. Yes, it was the day before. Uh, I freaked out. It was my third attempt, just like framed. My friend Kevin, so, you know. It was a pain in the butt. It's hard. It's hard to get used to Jad, but, you know. And then this is also my friend Sebastian, so I'd have to get back to him because he didn't have bank space. So, yeah, guys, that's my bank. Uh, I would say it's pretty organized. I like the layout of it. Just got to go get some placeholders from some of this stuff. And then, 
I mean, my bank should pretty much just go up now, just doing Slayer. Um, I'll give you a quick stat update as well. 70 attack, 75 strength, 70 defense, 73 range, 65 prayer, 70 magic, 52 rune crafting, 55 construction, 75 HP, 58 agility, 57 herblore, 58 thieving, 61 crafting, 70 fletching, 58 slayer, 29 hunter, 60 mining, 63 smithing, 63 fishing, 66 cooking, 51 fire making, 71 wood cutting, and 50 farming. My total level is 1420, and hopefully that'll go up with my combat levels, as well as my slayer levels, as well as prayer, magic, etc. Um, I really, really, really want to get my strength and defense up, because I don't really need anything otherwise, because I want to keep my attack at 70, because eventually um, a high attack or a high strength and defense will be a 6 staker, so I'm thinking like... 70 attack, 99 strength, 99 defense. That'll be so sick. But um, currently, I just want to show you guys my house because that's where I teleport to. This happened in my last video. This happened in my last video. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, my God. I'll be right back. So, anyway, back to my house. Let's get out of here. Give me some diamonds. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, so, anyway, like I said, I don't teleport anywhere but my house, and this is the sole reason. When you go to my house, you guys will see that in the center room is obviously the portal room. East, right over here, you guys will see I have my altar. So that's for when I need to get my prayer up. My bedroom, like a champion. So right here I have teleport rooms to the basic main cities. Over here, you can see I have my butler's bedroom and my amulet of glory. And south, I have the portal for barrows. And ironically, you know, it's closer to my altar. You see how that works? <laughs> Artie and Camelot tellies. And in here, this thing is going to save me so much money. Armor repair stand. Basically, you take a Barrows item here, and whatever half of your smithing level is, that percentage is taken off of the price. So say you went to Bob, and you needed 100k to repair an item, it would cost you 100k. If I came here, I get 31.5% off of that repair. So I get 31,500 coins off that repair. So it's definitely helpful in the long run, especially if you break your armor or wear it down to zero. That's a lot of money in the long run to save. So that's my account. That's basically what I'm doing. In the long run, the only 99s I'm really going to want to get besides combat, which would be, I guess, Slayer, because obviously that's, I mean, it counts, I guess. Herblore and Farming. Those are the only capes that I really want to get. I mean, eventually, if I go for total levels, it'll be cooking and fletching like normal, but, you know, it's whatever. I've had cooking, I've had fire making, I've had, like, a bunch of combat stats, all of them, but, you know, definitely, definitely farming is when I haven't had Slayer and Herblore. So, those are my goals for 2007, getting things done that I couldn't get in the current game. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. That's my account. Um, I'm probably just going to go slay for the rest of the day. I'm pretty damn tired, so I'm going to get my homework done. And then I'll probably cook or do something, go buy some fish, you know. But that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day. If you guys want to PM me, my private is literally always on, except for when I make videos because I don't want it, I want them to be professional and whatnot. So one last look at my bank. Boom, let me know if you guys see anything that you like. And comment below if you guys want to organize your bank because it's definitely helpful, but it's a pain in the butt to do. But I definitely encourage you to do it because it's really, really helpful in the long run. So without a doubt, definitely happy with my progress so far. So now all I'm going to do is just slay, make some money, get prayer up, get range up, get mage up, and do a lot of cow fight clean. Hopefully I can team with framed and goody and all them and hopefully trio by the time I get my stats up. So that's what I'm shooting for, guys. Um, yeah, I'm curved. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and like the video and leave a comment and let me know what you guys liked about this video and if my commentating is at least subpar or a little better than other YouTubers that haven't talked. I've been doing YouTube for quite a while on so many different channels so I feel like I could put my voice out there in a confident manner. So let me guys just, whoa, yeah, yeah, I talk about confidence and then I literally stumble on my words. Oh God. All right, guys. PM me game. You know where I'll be. I'll be streaming this weekend. So I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm Curve, and I'm out. Thanks for watching.